Every child loves a bedtime story. But what if the storyteller isn't a parent or even a teacher? What if it's AI? Today, two powerful platforms step into the spotlight, Gemini and Read Kids. Both promise to turn ideas into magical storybooks, but only one may become your go-to storyteller. So, who truly writes the story of tomorrow? Let's find out. Let's meet our contenders. On one side, Gemini Storybook, a creation from Google's AI family. It can generate a 10-page illustrated picture book, complete with narration, in just seconds. On the other side, Read Kids, a platform built from the ground up for children. It's not just for storybooks, it's for animated videos, images, sound effects, and more. Let's start the test. To make this fair, I gave both Gemini and Read Kids the same challenge. Tell me the story of a brave rabbit and a wise turtle searching for treasure. In Gemini, I'm giving this prompt. Create a children's storybook for ages 4 to 6 about a brave rabbit named Emma and a wise turtle named Jack who go on a treasure hunt in the forest using a claymation art style. Now I click Submit, and Gemini gets to work. It starts writing the story, generating illustrations, and within about 30 seconds, the entire book is ready. Here's the book cover, with a catchy title. Inside, the rabbit is fast, the turtle is clever, Gemini adds a glass to prove it, and together, they discover the treasure. Gemini also gives you the option to listen to the story. Near the oldest oak tree, Emma spotted something tucked under its roots. It was an old, crinkly map. A treasure map, she exclaimed, showing it to Jack. When you click listen, you'll find two choices, a high-pitch voice and a low-pitch voice. But that's it. You don't get to pick your own voice actor or customize the narration. On the other hand, Gemini does make sharing easy. With one click, you can share your storybook directly to LinkedIn, Facebook, X, or Reddit. Or simply copy the link to share anywhere else. The story itself is fun, but the structure feels fixed. You can't go beyond 10 pages, and editing options are limited. One nice feature is that Gemini storybooks are printable. Just click download and you'll get a PDF version. Gemini also lets you upload your own pictures as inspiration for a story. For example, I uploaded a doll image and gave this prompt. Create a children's storybook for ages 4 to 6 about a girl who finds a doll, I attach the image, and takes it with her on an adventure. Here's the result. Gemini did a really good job. It recognized the doll and integrated it into the story. But Gemini does warn that the story may not always be 100% faithful to the uploaded image. Let's create the same story and read kids. First, I choose the age group, 4 to 6 years old. Then I pick the story type, stories. And for the theme, I'll go with bedtime. Writing style is set to third person and aspect ratio to 1 to 1 for a picture book feel. Now hit generate and instantly the AI creates a complete story. Next, click extract roles. The platform detects all characters automatically. I pick an art style. I'll choose clay one, just like we tried in Gemini. Then, with one click, the AI generates multiple versions of each character. The tortoise doesn't have glasses, unlike what Gemini gave us. So I'm editing the character's look to add the glasses. Pick your favorite and move on. Now we head to the storyboard. And yes, you can fully customize it if you want changes. Here we are in the editor. Read Kids splits the story into scenes and generates four stunning illustrations for each one. Just pick the one you like and keep going. Once all scenes are ready, the canvas editor lets you adjust fonts, add effects, or even speech bubbles. It is done. Now you can preview it. And here's the magic. You are getting a choice to add narration and background music. Choose a voice actor, generate audio, then pick a copyright-free track that matches the mood. Finally, preview the full book. Emma Amp, Jack's Forest Treasure Hunt. Brave Rabbit Emma hopped along a winding path. Beside her, the gentle turtle Jack plodded onward. It's truly mind-blowing. Everything is under your control. With one click, download it as a PDF. Not only that, the most unique thing is you can even turn it into a video storybook with just one click. And not only that, you also get free templates that you can edit to create a complete storybook just the way you want. So while Gemini gave me a story, Read Kids gave me an experience. Characters, illustrations, narration, music, and no page limits. Similarities. 
Now it's only fair to say, they do share some superpowers. Both can create stories in different art styles, from manga and clay animation to black and white sketches. Both work as educational tools, helping explain concepts like the solar system or teaching life lessons. And both are fast. Ideas turn into storybooks in minutes. Differences. But here's where the story changes. Openness. Gemini needs detailed prompts. You must carefully guide it. Read Kids adapts your own stories instantly. Reading levels. Gemini requires you to specify age-appropriate vocabulary. Read Kids automatically adjusts for different ages, like 3 to 5 or 6 to 8 years old. Length. Gemini stops at 10 pages. Read Kids can create longer books, or even entire series. Editing. With Gemini, small edits mean starting over. With Read Kids, you can tweak text, layouts, or images anytime. Collaboration. Gemini is solo. Read Kids lets parents and children or teachers and students build stories together. Extras. Gemini? Just one fixed narration voice. In a shiny metal world. Read Kids goes beyond books, background music, voice actors. Emma sniffed the air. Something smelled sweet. We must use our wits, Emma. Multilingual support, one-click video exports. The human experience. Now imagine this. A parent wants to share a bedtime story. With Gemini, they read from a simple 10-page story. It's good, but it feels like reading from a draft. With Read Kids, they open a book filled with illustrations, music, and voices. Something the child can see, hear, and feel. Gemini sparks the imagination of the creator. Read Kids sparks the imagination of the child. So, which one wins? If you want quick storytelling and creative flexibility, Gemini is your friend. But if you want a ready-to-go immersive storybook experience, Read Kids takes the crown. In truth, both are shaping the future of storytelling. They prove that with AI we don't just read stories, we create them together. So tell me, which one would you choose for your next adventure, Gemini or Read Kids? Drop your answer in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and join me for more AI battles.